Hey there, everybody. I'm kind of almost finished with my shed. I started working on it earlier today. Man, what a project. I can't believe actually how hot it is in the shade. So earlier today we started off, wasn't that hot. But now if I'm looking at this correctly, in the shade, we're about at 104 degrees. It's pretty hot out here. But yeah, I figured let me show off what I did today. So I finally got to clean up all the little things around here. Got to come down this way a little bit. When it gets cooler, I'll squirt it down. But inside this guy here, I decided to put my squirt guns and some emergency pieces in case my sprinklers mess up. And my barbecue stuff. So I figure with the barbecue stuff, it makes it kind of easy for the little barbecues. And then I can shut this right here. Come over here, but... I finally got the garage kind of decked out. I can't say it's a man cave because it's not really big enough for me to go inside. But but at least I got a place to keep all my stuff nice and safe now. So like for an example, I got all my camping gear over there, like my fishing poles, uh, tackle box. I ended up got a little ice chest over there. I got an old school CVX kicker. Man, that brings back old memory. That thing used to hit so hard. Then I got my little camping thing on the bottom. Which, that's nice. I usually take that in the propane tank and I can put a cast iron skillet right on it. Man, last time I took it camping, we did like 12 pieces of chicken in that thing. We stacked it and stacked it. By the time it all cooked down, it fit perfectly. But, uh, yeah. And then going back to this thing over here, that's my daughter's thing. She used to ride that all the time as a little kid. Oh, so many good memories. And my dad, he passed. But uh, he assembled that and got it for her for Christmas one year. So that was like the Christmas present that he got and gave it to my daughter and assembled it. I could say it was probably the first year that my daughter got to chase fried chicken from KFC because he gave her a little piece. My daughter's eyes lit up like it was a candy store. But yeah, I kind of do like how I got all my stuff here set up for the motorcycle. I was able to get my stuff up there. Come over here. Now these are some extra spare tires. Which, you know, extra rubbers. Well, for the tires. You see the little knobs right there? So they're actually really good. My friend, Leonard, he had me watch this motor for him a long time ago. I've been holding it, holding it, holding it for him because I had a steady place and he knew no matter what, I would have the motor here. Where over the years we kind of fell out and I keep waiting for him to one day to come by and say, hey, I'm here to get my motor. But he hasn't, but I don't want to get rid of it in case that one day he comes by and he's like, Hey, you still got that motor? So I gave him my word. Now come over here though. This is actually what I like the most. Got this here. And when you look at it, when you get into detail on it, it's not really all dirty. Of course, I could toothbrush it, but there's no leaks on it anywhere. Got a big giant chain for that area there. And then I even got another big lock thing for over here. And then I got a lock on the building itself. I mean, all you could do is slow somebody down if they're going to try to take it, but... I'm just so glad I don't have to leave it outside in the elements. My old race quad that I had for a long time just kind of broke down with the sun. And then it no longer became a race quad, it was a dead quad, a broken quad. So yeah, I figured I'm gonna keep this all right, you guys. All I do when I'm ready to turn it is I can grab this here and I pull this in. Once I clear it, bolt time. Lock it up, put it away. All right guys, I can't wait to show you some videos. I've been looking at offer up for some GoPros. But yeah, let's see what this 450 can do. All right, thank you everybody for watching.